Try to go to the museum here. We're just here. It was closed today, so we'll keep wandering. Joel's dying for a pinchos tour, so maybe we'll do that instead. Pinchos. Ooh. I think we're also. Uh, we've been on the road for five months now. I think we're both ready for the next stage, which is going to be some house sitting and just relaxing for a bit. So definitely. I think we're both ready for that. Yep. Let's go find a pinchos bar. Pinchos gets a what? Four out of five? Yeah. Men's hard. It's like figure skating. You don't want to give too high a mark because you don't know what anything else going to be like. <laughs> This is not funny when I point this out. <laughs> the death thought this was people running away from snow. I just said, is that snow? It's a darn reasonable. People. They're not running, they're just testing the snow. Check out that snowstorm. <laughs> Look at that one, that's huge. So, it's time for a bit of nostalgia. This is my first experience of traveling to a destination and watching it change over a long period of time. It's the last time I was in San Sebastian, which was probably about nine or 10 years ago, uh, when I used to work for a tour company. And we used to actually stay in one of the apartment buildings on this side of the road. And it was just a bit more gritty. It felt like you were really in Spain, but now it's just a bit touristy. There's so many other places in Spain that are beautiful that people aren't visiting. San Sebastian could have retained that air of authenticity if we all didn't just like crowd the very few places in Spain that we hear about and the tourism was spread out a little bit more. We found pinchos in dessert form. <laughs> Okay, we've turned it in three hours. Only for me, it goes to cake has. Okay, go for it. I hate this now? Yeah. Our brownie dulce cheesecake. Hot blonde serving the uh, cheesecake. Not one. Brunette, whatever. It's okay if we film? See? Elizabeth. I was just going to tell you that everything in this shop is basically what's wrong with the world, but Beth's found something useful. <laughs> Joel's nose is too big for the mustache. It doesn't fit under his nose. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to stuff you just don't need, I would have to say a bicycle vase is probably up there with it. But Beth's found something useful here. Let me see your sunglasses. It's not quite on right. I think it might suit me. <laughs> Couldn't help myself while Beth was in the store. I got myself some chocolate banana bread. This should be dessert number three in like an hour. How are you eating more food? <laughs> Where did you get this? He offered me a bag and a napkin. I said just give me a duty. I was looking to finish it before my wife gets out of Tiger. <laughs> So today we had grand plans of getting up early and going to Guanaca and then going to the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, but uh, I don't think we foresaw eight, eight to ten tapas bars uh, last night. Eight to ten, two of them were dessert bars. 
probably just going to go straight to Bilbao Airport and uh, head to the UK. So we're going to take the slow highway there because it's uh, 11 euros if you want to take the fast highway. Yeah, that's our month in Spain. But uh, we'll be back in five weeks after a brief stint in the UK seeing friends and family. A big moment. <laughs> you gotta get the London Eye in the background, mate. Hello, <laughs> and welcome to London. We're here amongst all the major city highlights. The iconic London bus. <laughs> The London Eye. And also in the distance, amongst the haze, the Houses of Parliament. How do I reverse this? Hello! <laughs> they kind of hold it in front of their groin? <laughs> well, how do I know we got groin there, actually? What is that protrusion? <laughs> Uh, so here comes the pour for the cider. Wow. She's put on a show for us. She was going to do it in a protective cover and now she's got it out. It's just yeah. So this week, or week and a half, we're here in Manchester house sitting for some friends and pet sitting with This Arthur. guy. Catching up on vlogging. I mean, we're like, what? catching up there, working on our website, because uh, that really needs a lot of fixing, and just generally taking a break from being on the road, so... Yeah, we're yeah. excited to spend 10 days here with Arthur and acting like normal people who live in a house. Nothing like a little impulsive ice cream run. 